Thanksgiving is recognized as a true American holiday as no other country celebrates the spirit of this day quite like the United States. Although normally celebrated in November, tonight I'm enjoying Thanksgiving with my six J1 students as their time in Port Clinton is running short. As we come to the end of another summer season in our community, there's so much to be, say, to be thankful for that I could possibly list everything here in this report. Well, I guess I could, but you'd be here for quite some time. So here are a few of the notes for this meeting. School buses, reminder that PCCSD begins on Monday, August 30th. Watch for buses and children walking, riding bikes to and from school. Be mindful of school zones. PCPD will be undertaking school patrols before and after school. Four Peace Festival, a Labor Day weekend tradition host, hosted by the Knights of Columbus is returning. A complete list of events has been placed in front of you. I think I put them in front of everybody's spot. Tasting Transformation, Saturday evening, approximately 150 people gathered at TAG. Many of the tenants were in the building for the first time. This event served as a fundraiser for the planned 1.2 million renovation of the building. The GPC AAC has made tremendous strides in converting this building from the former city garage to a showpiece of all forms of art for the community. A reminder, the Eddie Adams photo exhibition will remain open to the public through mid-November. Check out www.gpcaac.org for times. If you've driven down Perry Street today, you notice work is progressing with the wetlands. Restoration from the Memorial Day storm is almost complete and plantings uh, are set to begin uh, next week, weather permitting. You, may, you will also note the initial staging of materials in and around North Jefferson Street for the start of the walkway project. Uh, PCD, 
PC day at Fifth Third Field. Amazing isn't the proper word to describe the day. 305 of our neighbors rode the Jet Express from downtown PC to downtown Toledo for the game. Another estimated five to 700 found their way to the game via other means. The entire day at the ballpark was about PC. Maddox Johnson was the play ball kid. The PC BFW provided the color guard while PCHS Marching Band performed the national anthem. Hometown hero Thomas J. Krupp was recognized for his years of service in the U.S. Navy and the PCFD. Children from Rainbow Acres sang Take Me Out to the Ball Game during the seventh inning stretch. And I asked if I should still say this, and yes, and my mom passed out. Vomited, spent the first five innings of the game in the stadium clinic due to extreme heat. Special thanks to Fire Chief Ken Johnson and his wife for giving my parents an early ride back to PC. Mom is doing well. Uh, to top the day off, the butt ends one, the bottom of the ninth, the two out bases loaded walk off hit. Discussions are already underway with the Mudheads to make this an annual event. More to follow in early 2022. And lastly, at this point, I'm probably on my second helping of potatoes and turkey. So in keeping with Thanksgiving theme, I want to reach to, to let each and every one of you know how very thankful I am for your service to Port Clinton. Admittedly, we may have differences in our approach, but I understand, recognize, and appreciate that each one of you are doing what you are doing because you want to see Port Clinton reach its fullest potential. I think we are moving in the right directions, and for what I'm hearing on the street, so do many of our citizens. I'm just thankful to be part of this positive movement in your community. Madam President, this concludes the Mayor's Report for 24th of August, 2021. Thank you. Honorary report. Okay. Treasurer's report? Uh, Madam Chairman, thank you. The bed and dock tax report is here. Bed taxes are $95,430.53. Dock taxes, $27,062.96. Thanks for all the help being done by Sandy to get those in. Thank you. Aldrich. Nothing to Thank you. <laughs> I'll add, yeah, I don't know. This, the the pier will it will start being blocked off this Thursday. They'll start bringing supplies and stuff in, and probably start moving some of the stone around on the walkway. They hope on the week of the after uh, Labor Day they'll start with the sheet pilings and that kind of stuff. So, uh, as you know, the 11th we have the uh, Boy Scouts going to be up there. We have that pretty much figured out of how we're going to lay it out and stuff like that for them and it shouldn't be a problem. There will still be access through the pier parking lot to get to the high grounds. You'll come through and then you know where the stones sit there by the uh, little, I guess I'll call it a little hill there. They're, they're gonna dig that out, put more stone in to make that very accessible. So it should be no problem. If it gets to be a problem in there, we'll end up uh, closing the pier and then we'll let them come in Washington Street if we have to. But I don't think that's gonna happen or at least certainly not in the beginning of the project, okay? Um, you saw uh, the, uh, we have a great partnership with the Army Corps Fish and Wildlife Black Swamp on the repairs of the wetlands. Fish and Wildlife was in today, uh, removing some of the invasive species that were there. Um, that way we'll be able to start planting. They need to get it planted by September 13th. So uh, they will be back finishing that tomorrow morning. They expect to be done by noon. So we took the uh, channelizers off the street today. They will go back on in the morning. And that's all I have, Madam President. Thank you. Does Council have any questions here, Mr. Colson? Yes. Madam President, Mr. Colson, can you talk more about the access to the pier parking lot? Sure. Park? So when you Would come in, to be a driveway. Yeah. You get to the. Yeah, people have done this. To to the yeah, road. people have done this illegally in the past before. You'll be able to park against the ball field, the hillside, as you come in. Double lanes coming in and out. As you get to the entrance, it'll probably be choked down to one lane, so you're coming in and out, and then. There's some boulders, I don't know if you're familiar up there, but there's boulders that sit along the stone walkway as you're going back to in the parking lot. There will be a road access to go right through there. They're making that better than it is. Right now, people have done it just basically driving over the dirt. So uh, that's how they'll be able to get in. Uh, you won't be able to fish along the pier, but you certainly could fish on the jetty that goes out. So if you park you know, on the stone, the high ground, I call it, but the stone parking lot up top, you would still have access to walk the entire thing to the north, I guess. So that's how it's going to go. Thank you. 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 Th
estimated completion date is when? That's not till next spring. So I think it was May, don't quote me, May 30th, I think, but in that range. I do believe it's getting started early, and if we have a mild winter, I think it'll be much sooner than that. There may be some landscaping and stuff to do, but I think the major portion of it could be done. They were worried, you know, as you get in December and it gets cold, you certainly don't want to be pouring concrete. We don't want to mess with that. So if things go well, knock on wood, I think we should be able to be in pretty good shape. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you, Madam President. Council, I emailed a uh, short time ago before this meeting uh, a recap of our finance committee meeting that was yesterday. We favorably reported out the three ordinances that are on the agenda tonight, so I can talk about those with you. Thank you. Economic and community development. I would just encourage everyone to take a look at the community flags and consider purchasing them. Ms. Ostheimer told me that a good amount have moved out the door already, which is nice to hear. I think there are some. Uh, public displays that were going to be facilitated by Main Street and the Chamber of Commerce as well. So I appreciate that. Good to see you. Thank you, Madam Thank you. Environment and Public Works. This is Hickman. Nothing tonight, Madam President. Thank you. Safety Services, Ms. Phillips. Nothing this evening. Thank you. Thank you. And this is Gilman is not here. Okay. Um, under correspondence this evening, we have the monthly reports for July 2021 from Mr. Hatfield. In the Ohio Division of Liquor Control, HN Restaurant Enterprises LLC, TBA, a bear at the Island House First Floor and Patio, 102 Madison Street, Portland, Ohio. This council wish to take any action as to the course, correspondence this evening. Madam President. Mr. Vila. I move to waive council's right to object to the transfer Thank for you. the post Control, any discussion? We have a motion by. Mr. Velo, seconded by Mr. Troller to waive um, the hearing or anything related to the transfer of the liquor permit. Could the clerk please call the roll? Jerry Trolley? Yes. Margaret Phillips? Yes. Lisa Spodian? Yes. Roseanne Hickman? Yes. Pat Hovis? Yes. Kate Velo? Yes. Thank you. Motion carries 6 0. Does council wish to take any further action as to the correspondence this evening? Madam President? Mr. Velo? I move to the state of correspondence. Thank you. Do I have a second? A second. Thank you, Mr. Trolley. We have a motion by Mr. Velo, seconded by Mr. Trolley to approve the correspondence as stated. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed the same sign. Motion carries. Correspondence are approved. We'll move on to readings of ordinances and resolutions. Madam President. Yes, Mr. Velo. I move to take from the table ordinance 2021. Thank you. Do I have a second? I have a second. Thank you, Mr. Trolley. We have a motion by Mr. Velo, seconded by Mr. Trolley to remove the table ordinance 20 21. Any discussion? Uh, would the court please call the roll? Pat Hovis? Yes. Lisa Spodian? Yes. Jerry Trolley? Yes. Kate Velo? Yes. Rosanne Hickman? Yes. Margaret Phillips? Yes. Thank you. Motion carries 6 0. Ordinance 2021 is. Number 20-21, an ordinance revising and fixing the salaries and benefits of certain supervisory positions classified as exempt employees of the City of Portland, Ohio, and declaring an emergency. Thank you. Does Council wish to take any action as to ordinance 20-21? Madam President. Yes, Mr. Milo. I move to retain the emergency clause in ordinance 20-21. Thank you, Mr. Any discussion? by Mr. Velo, seconded by Ms. Phillips to retain the emergency clause as to ordinance 20-21. Would well, the clerk please call the roll? Lisa Sabodian? Yes. Kate Velo? Yes. Pat Hobbit? Yes. Mark Phillips? Yes. Roseanne Hickman? Yes. Jerry Charlie? Yes. Thank you. Motion carries 6-0. This council wish to take any further action as to ordinance 20-21. Madam President? Yes, Mr. Velo. I move to adopt ordinance 20-21. Do you have a second? Second. Thank you, Ms. Phillips. Any discussion? Madam President. Yes, Mr. Vila. The Finance Committee met yesterday and took this up and discussed with the Auditor and Safety Service Director. There are no uh, 
qualms with what was included there, so we recommend the adoption. Thank you. Other questions? Okay. Have a motion by Mr. Bilo, seconded by Ms. Phillips, to adopt Ordinance 20-21. Would the clerk please call the roll? Jerry Tiroli? Yes. Margaret Phillips? Yes. Roseanne Hickman? Yes. Lisa Spodian? Yes. Dave Bilo? Yes. Pat Horvath? Yes. The motion carries 6 0. Ordinance 20 21 is adopted. Madam President? Yes, Mr. Vito. I move to take from the table Ordinance 21 21. Thank you. Do I have a second? I'll second that. Thank you, Mr. Trulli. Discussion? We have a motion by Mr. Vito, second by Mr. Trulli to remove from the table Ordinance 21 21. Will the clerk please call the roll? President Hickman? Yes. Dave Bilo? Yes. Pat Hogan? Yes. Jerry Trulli? Yes. Lisa Spodian? Yes. Mark Phelps? Yes. Thank you. Motion carries 6 0. Ordinance 21 is picked on the floor. Does uh, council wish to take any, or er, sorry, would the clerk please read my title and summary only? Ordinance 21 21. Ordinance number 21 21, an ordinance revising and fixing the salaries of certain supervisory positions classified as non exempt employees of the city of Port Clinton, Ohio, not covered by collective bargaining agreement, and replacing any previous ordinances referencing salaries for certain non exempt employees and declaring an emergency. Thank you. Does council wish to take any action as to ordinance 21 21? Madam President. Yes, Mr. Bielo. May I move to retain the emergency clause on ordinance 21. Second. We have a motion by Mr. Bilo, second by Ms. Phillips to retain the emergency clause as to ordinance 21 21. Would the clerk please call the roll? Please, Mr. Podium? Yes. Pat Hogan? Yes. Jerry Trulli? Yes. Margaret Phillips? Yes. Roseanne Hickman? Yes. Dave Bilo? Yes. Thank you. Motion carries 6 0. The emergency clause is hereby maintained with the or does council wish to take any further action as to ordinance 21 21? Madam President. Yes, Mr. Bilo. We move to adopt ordinance 21 21. Thank you, Mr. Bilo. Do I have a second? No second. Thank you, Ms. Phillips. Any discussion? Madam President. Yes, Mr. Bilo. Like the earlier ordinance, the finance committee took this up yesterday and had no qualms with it. And recommended adoption. Thank you. Further discussion? Any questions? Okay. I have a motion by Mr. Bilo, seconded by Ms. Phillips, to adopt Ordinance 21-21. Would the clerk please call the roll? Kate Bilo? Yes. Jerry Trolley? Yes. Pat Hobbes? Yes. Mark Phillips? Yes. Roseanne Hickman? Yes. Lisa Spody? Yes. Thank you. Motion carries 6 0. Ordinance 21 21 is hereby adopted. Second readings, we have Ordinance 23-21, with the clerk please read by title and summary only, Ordinance 23-21. Ordinance number 23-21, an ordinance amending Ordinance number 4-21 of the City of Port Clinton and adjusting accounts within the City of Port Clinton. Thank you. This council wants to take any action as to Ordinance 23-21 this evening. Seeing none, Ordinance 23-21 will move to its third meeting on September 14th. 2021 at the regular scheduled council meeting. And we have no first readings. We move on to business from the floor. Uh, I guess I should mention uh, we are spread out just to give us a little more room with everything going on. Um, spread out in the audience too. So just for right now, not asking anyone to wear masks unless you are not fully vaccinated or if you feel comfortable wearing one, that's fine. So, um, Mrs. Sobis? Nothing to add, Madam President. Yeah, just a couple of questions for Mr. Colston. Um, you were talking about invasive. Is that plants and animals, fish, life in the wetlands, or? It's mostly buffalo carp, they called it. Is that, is that what's in there? That's what it called. Okay, and the uh, second question. Uh, well, first, what did they do with the carp when they got them? The carp will go be used and recycled as fertilizer. Gotcha, great. Um, if we get another, event like that flood are they they'll be back to repair it again or how is that going yeah they, they we have an agreement with fish and wildlife they called their group of guys from uh, Detroit to come down because they have the boats and stuff available right. for that 
it was awesome. They came down. I think they're staying on Katana the holiday, and, and uh, they came and uh, had their machines and uh, did a heck of a job. They quit a little early today because a couple of them got overheated, actually. So they're going to spend a couple hours more, which is understandable. It was brutal today. So, um, and it will be hot tomorrow. So they're coming early, probably 7, 7.30. And they think a few hours they should be out of there. And if we have another event like... Uh yeah, Fish and Wildlife, if you remember, we have a five-year contract That's with them to help right. I, I maintain the, the marsh. As okay. soon, as, soon as the Corps of Engineers is done with it, right. but they, they're basically just coming to help out. They're going to be a great partner for us, like I said stated right. earlier. They're a great partnership. It's five years old. Okay. Good remember here. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. That is all. Thank you. Nothing tonight, Madam President. Thank you. Thank you, Madam President. Uh, if you noticed, um, they're advertising now for another police officer because we are short one because of retirement and another retirement. So that should be coming up for all the tests and such that are due to be done. But other than that, uh, it's been kind of quiet and fun. A lot of people out of town. Uh, yeah, well, I go out town and there are people all over the place. And we have another art walk coming up, I believe. For those, uh, is that what it is? Our walk is Sunday, Monday, 5 to 7 p.m. And then uh, that's what you see. We're going to see people out. Those are the second and fourth. Tuesday. Thursday. Thursday. Yeah. Well, the farmer's market is this weekend, too. So. Oh. On Sunday. Sunday. Those are nice. Thank you. Mrs. Lodian? Mrs. Lodian? Mr. Pilo? Nothing tonight.